What does it mean to plan meals? For some people, it can be really frustrating. Most people don't know where to start, or it seems almost impossible to organize and plan ahead for a week or even a few days. First, get organized. Take a few minutes each week to follow these easy steps, and it will get easier every time. What does the family's week look like? Who will be home for meals? What do the kids need for their lunches? Do sports or work schedules affect the plans? Write this all down. Someone may have a special request. Hey mom, can I have cereal for supper? Hey mom, can we have pancakes for dinner? Hey mom, can we have Chinese food for dinner? Hey mom, can I help you cook? That's not gonna happen. The next step is to see what you have on hand at home. You want to try to use food that you already have in the cabinet and notice which staples you are missing, such as canned vegetables or spices. Start making your grocery list based on what you need to buy at the store. Pay attention to the perishable foods that you need to use up so that you can plan a meal or two with these items. You don't want your fresh fruit and vegetables to spoil, so plan ahead when you use these items in the weekly menu you're making. If you attend the Food Talk or online Food eTalk classes, you can get this handy reusable grocery shopping checklist for free. Keep a calendar that spells out each meal for every day of the week. Based on what perishable foods you need to use up, what your family requested, and even thinking about what produce might be in season or on sale at the store, decide what meals you have each day. As you fill in each meal, add to your grocery list. Remember, stick to your list and don't buy anything that you already have enough of at home. When making your list, try to group food items according to where they can be found in the store. That saves time. Now you're ready to go shopping. Just don't forget your list. <laughs>